welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to embed real life content, let's say YouTube videos, or a local video, or maybe you wanna embed a page with a text or just make an iframe. As you can see in my prototype, I tweaked it a little bit and made it into actual RP Noob to Master sessions, a bit meta. And I have this current lesson header as well as next lesson button. But as you can see, I have blank type of container and I wanna place a YouTube video out of my YouTube channel out there just to make the prototype much more real. So let's say if I want to user test this learning site, I can just give a link to a user and they can play video and then observe them and get feedback instead of let's see just, just having a static box with, you know, with a play icon and not being able to grasp what happens next. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do so. Now in actual beta, if you go there, as you can see, I have my source file. I can use one smart object from the libraries because we haven't touched libraries for quite some time, which is called inline frame. An inline frame is one of those kind of like a placeholder iframe objects, which allow you to embed anything in it. And right off the bat, let's give it a name like a iframe container. We can add interactions to it, but since we're gonna embed just a video, we don't really need it. If you double click on the iframe, you're gonna get two options. One is to embed existing page from our thing. So let's say if we do, I don't know, responsive demo and I embed it. Now it's not gonna appear yet, but if I preview the page, you're gonna see that we embedded our tablet view and now we have another page within a page. But let's say if we go back to that op properties uh, box and we check this link to external URL or file, now we can either add a function, which is advanced topic, so I'm gonna cover it next sometime, but we can also add a hyperlink to any page. There are some restrictions to what you can add, because if you add Google or YouTube.com, something like a homepage, they might restrict you and you might not be able to add them. However, you can add specific YouTube video or a snippets from other pages, but you need to experiment and see what you can add. So let's say if we go to uh, my YouTube channel, every video on YouTube has the sharing functionality. And let's say if you would click on it, you're gonna see this option embed and you're gonna have this snippet of code. So we can just copy it because it doesn't allow to us just select the URL. But we need just the URL because if you're gonna just paste it as is, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna use the word editor really quick. I'm gonna delete the rest because we don't really need it. Like so. And just copy it. Now going back to a prototype, paste that URL. Previewing it. Paste OK and preview. And if I scroll down, I have my actual video. As you can see, it has all the options of YouTube. And I can even click play and play right away. It does all the tricks I need. Now, other things to just highlight with that style of it, inline frame also has some neat features. So let's say you can hide the border. You can also hide the scroll bars because let's say if your page is way bigger, which you're gonna embed or content is way bigger, it's just gonna have a scroll bars, which are not pleasant. So we can just either say never scroll, always scroll as needed, but I usually just go never scroll because I want it to be quite nice basically. And also you can add some sort of preview to your box before the content appears. So just in case it doesn't load or I don't know, it takes too much time to do so, you can show either map or video or whatever. So I'm gonna pick video, preview again, and we have a fully working prototype with embedded content with no nasty borders or scroll bars and it looks pretty good. I'm ready to test. So I hope this video was useful. If so, give a like, subscribe to this channel, you know the drill. And as usual, stay tuned for more videos and see you next time.